Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this session, we're going to take a look at moving objects and object center points. This will be a short session but I wanted to put some emphasis on this and you'll see why as I get into this short video. We have the scale and stretch mode and the rotation and skew mode, both of which have the object center point. Now if I'm selecting objects and I'll zoom in here, let's say I'm going to select the rectangle in the back. Now we know we can get to that by holding down alt or we just simply left click hold down and lasso that. Now that's behind the two objects. The two objects in front have a transparency on them and the other object is in the back. Now let's say I want to move that object in the back. If I just try to click on it, by default I'll go back to the object that is in front of it. Once again holding down Alt, click through once, click through twice, I now have that object selected. Now here we can see the center point and my cursor will change to the move cursor. So if I'm trying to move an object that's behind other objects, the only way I can do that is from the center point. Now sometimes you can't see it based on the objects because of the color it is, but you'll always be able to find it by just simply remembering that it's somewhere here in the middle directly aligned with the vertical and horizontal center points where they would meet, you'll find that and your cursor will change. Then you can left click, hold down and move that object from the center point. So I wanted you to be aware of that in moving objects and I wanted to put emphasis on that because so often if you're trying to move that object, you'll be trying to get to it to move it and you click not on the center point, you're going to select the object on top of it. Now here from the scale and stretch mode, I'll left click and go to the rotate and skew mode. And you'll see that the center point has changed. Now it's a circle. I can hover over that. My cursor will change. Left click, hold down, and I can move the center point. Now when I rotate the object, it'll move around based on the position that I've put the center point in and I could duplicate there, then I'll hit Control R, which is repeat, and I can repeat the rotation of the object, duplicating it multiple times with Control R. I'll hit Control Z to go back. So we want to be aware of these center points and how they work based on the two different modes that the objects can be in. Once again, if you're trying to move an object that's behind other objects, you want to grab it by the center point and then you can move it even though it's behind other objects. Left click, hold down from the center point. And here we can go to the rotate and skew mode and move the center point and rotate around a different center point with our objects in Corel Draw. So we'll wrap here concerning moving objects and their center points and we'll continue in the next video.